right, we're so on right, board with, who are we on board with here? Is it red, I think? Yeah, we're on board with Link Red. Can't say anything about where he's going, but right now, let's see how it happens. Just in case Afterlife can hear us. Looks like we got we're making a push right now. Nice push on high side right now. Got a guy down. Played that always been down my snipe. Players both picked up there. I imagine that was reaction with the sniper. Right now, both players are retreating from the cock team. They definitely have map control right now for Link. Oh, so Link has great map control. Reaction with a nice snipe oh. headshot. Ooh, we got a 2v3 right now. We got Reaction and Reese alive on the cock team right now for Afterlife, trying to clutch a 2v3 right now. But then again, we got Link Club X with map control right now, so and an extra man, so, so anything can happen right now. So, Joe, how has the game evolved over compared to uh, the American scene? Um, well, for, the, for this league, I think a lot of players are playing a lot smarter this event. Everybody, um, they reset, they play smart, you know, they don't make pushes when none are necessary, so I think the community as a whole, for yeah. since I've been playing it, has evolved a lot since I've met everybody. Yeah. So I think it's a 2v1 night now in favor of um, whichever the Locust team is, uh, Club X. Yeah. I think Reaction being the last player alive. Yeah, Reaction though, previous teammate of mine, extremely clutch. So at any given time on land, anything could happen. Uh, Definitely making a push on him right now on the high side, but he does have nades to defend himself to go try to get more snipe ammo if that's what he's going for. Well, I heard he's one of the best snipers, so no he's doubt that'll be his last so line of defense. Good. He's right? so good. Right they seem now. to be pretty aggressive, though. They don't care about reactive down or anything. But oh, yeah, there it is. That's one. You just got to be careful when you push reaction when he has snipe, man. That's just how it is. Do you reckon these two will play off against each other, or are they going to stay back? Hey, I don't know. It's a 1v1 right now. It's really important to turn the tide of the match. So whoever wins this gets to talk a lot of trash. Still base right now. Oh, reaction here we extremely go. Extremely confident. Oh. And there's Jack! Reaction there's the clutch! No time! Like I said, anything can happen at any given time on land. There's the hype, there's the trash talk, and it's just going to go on from here right now. I gotta say, it's impressive. Most people in that situation will play for draw. Be safe. Reaction, no holes barred. I can tell you right now that out of all the top five teams in the league that I think at the moment, these two teams are some of the most aggressive. So you could definitely see a lot of aggressive pushes from either of them. Nobody's going to back down. They want to prove themselves right now. Screen back up. On board with Infernal now. Extremely good player, by the way. Was playing with him in free play a lot yesterday, so I expect to see big things from him. I always saw Infernal as a sniper myself, but apparently he's not picking it up. Very nice oh. right now. Reese making a huge play right now. We have a 4v2 in favor of Afterlife. Anything is possible right now. Go on. One player has snipe. Jack is making a risky push right now. Anything is possible. Got Infernal trying to push reaction, but it's backing off right now. Yeah, re Jack resetting right now. It looks like they're trying to make a push on mid bridge. I'm not really sure who's on there, though. Once we see an angle, that we'll be able to see. One player picking a sniper from, from Link Club X right now. And there we have Afterlife just chilling in the zone. It's always interesting to see people's gaming faces. It is. Especially when they start fighting. You don't want to see mine. It's just ridiculous. Really? No, it's like an it's adventure, bad. right? It's bad. I'm just like staring at the screen so bad. Reaction just down. We're following nice Reaction now. Play. Just downed him. Downed the member of Club X. Yeah, very hyped up for this match, obviously. Yep, they got him. Yep, they're all down. Looks like a second round right there for Reaction right yeah, now. This and is in the no rest mercy. of Afterlife. Playing really well. So organized we, and aggressive. Do we know who's hosting right now? I'm actually not sure, to be honest. I didn't get to see who started the game. I'm going to take a guess, though, that this might be Club X's host. I'm not sure, though. Well, that would be a disaster if they're losing now 2-0 on their if own that host. That is, it's possible. But then again, it is Canals. It is an off-host map, so anything is possible. Exactly. And we have Fuel Depot coming up next afterwards, so True. I would expect them to try and take back a uh, off-host map on there. Which will make the rest of this match quite epic with the, some of the best three maps in the game at the end. Hey, I really want to see War Machine and Mansion. I can't wait to see War Machine and see how it's played. It's my favorite map. Exactly. 
Finally on Bobby Reaction. See what I can do with this knight. Shaq with a nice <laughs> down once Speaking again, playing extremely consistent. Going for a pistol down. Jack trying to regroup with his team right now. Can he get away? He oh. resets all, but he gets that shot in. It's a three. It's a three v three right now. Jack got headshot, but they also traded kills. They were able to pick I'm up a couple club as well. So we have SB Technical and Reese for Afterlife Alive right now. Not really sure who who died on Club X. Once we get a once we get a camera, then we'll be able to tell. Some great camera views right now, honestly. Definitely think the stream has improved a lot since ECL one. So great job by whoever is responsible for that. It's awesome. Infernal waiting on the new snipe. He's just yeah. spawned. Infernal also one of the best snipers in the league as well, he along really with is, reaction. Yeah. So. This is just, it's just insane right now. Anything can happen. Canal's falling into its typical slow pace now. Ugh, slow pace. It's just reaction apparently looking at the screen. That's a reminder reaction not to do that, otherwise that'll be an instant map forfeit. And I am looking at you right now, reaction, so be careful. Yeah, Jack, if you can hear me right now, apparently you're not allowed to look at the screen. So we love you, but just keep doing what you're doing, bro. It's a big standoff right now on Canals. It's bound to happen. They were able to down Red right now from Link Club X. Can they keep him down? No, no. He's back up. At least another two downs. So, while we've got this stalemate, Gears 3, I, both, I know you both of you have played it a lot more than me. So, yeah. what's, you know, what's, hot, what's not in Gears 3? I mean, Gears 3 right now, I definitely think the shotgun and the Lancer, the regular Lancer, are really good for competitive play. Um, the stopping power, I'm not a fan of. If they edited that, that would be great. But we're going to have to see what happens. Right now, it seems Epic Games is trying to get very involved, though, and help out the communities, both competitive and fair casual. So it would be great to see both the communities finally starting to play together. The maps look pretty promising, in my opinion, as well. Check out one of the best maps oh, I've seen. Wow. Oh, Wow, uh, a really quick high side push right there from Afterlife, Afterlife to make a 3-0 lead right now. I really do want to know who host this is. I'm not sure. I really am pretty sure this is Club X's host, to be honest. I'm not positive, though. We're going to find out at the end of the match. I'll ask one of the players. Even if it's not, if they get 4-0, then if a it came to a final map, round count at ECL, uh, yeah. that's the rules. So most rounds gets last host. Host being the biggest power weapon in the game in theory. Well, if there's anybody I wouldn't want on host playing against, it would probably be Reese. His pistol is absolutely ridiculous on so land on yeah, host. So Joe B told me. I would not want to be dealing with that. My team, we used to joke around. We used to call him Medusa because if you looked at him, you just died. It was bad. So even, I don't even mess worse with that. than Absent's host pistol. Uh, I don't know. I haven't played on Absent enough. When I played you at Dallas, you know, yeah. it was different. Did Absent host that event? He did, didn't he? Yeah, he, he's always hosted. You guys beat us pretty bad, so I wouldn't want to see that again. <laughs> So obviously, what can Club X do right now to regain the momentum? Well, Are they going to give up the map completely and, and focus on the next one? High fives help, just saying. Um, but other than that, I mean, they could really try to make some pushes. Whenever they see it, they have an advantage on the guy. They need to make a play. And they need a reset after they get a kill. And they should I be able to do good. When, you, when you're down rounds on gears, most people would expect you to hold back and hope the other team mess up. Playing aggressive case, and making a play. Yes, I agree 100%. You have to make a play and make a dent in the armor of the other player's team. You just have to. So I think it's a 4v4 right now. It, everyone alive it is mate. still a 4v4. We have some drawing going on. <laughs> I think that's technical because he drew a T. That would be really funny if it is. They're making a push right now. It looks like a double high side push. He needs to get out of that high side. If he doesn't regroup right now, he could be in a lot of trouble. They do have map control, and they're also sandwiching a guy on middle bridge right now. We might see a guy going for middle bridge. Well, thanks for the first kill, though. Steve now. making a kill, though. Yeah, but it's going to trade very fast. And now it's a 3v3. And now Afterlife has an advantage 3v2. There's a guy on midbridge right now. They're trying to make a push. They're going to control the midbridge and try to sandwich this guy that's up top right now. That would be the smartest thing, I think, to do. Did anyone pick up a top though? You've got to be careful if they have. And true, true. But they do have high side control. And I'm pretty sure that is Jack with a snipe once again. Of course, Another dangerous thing to deal dumb, with. Yeah. And that is reaction once again with the snipe. So let's see if he can make a play. Close, no dice. This looks like this could possibly be a 2v2. Stabizi is down. It, it was a 3v2. Don't know if you call this a 2v2.5, but now definitely a 2v2, without a doubt. Grabbing a player. 
Jack with some crazy movement right now, trying to make a play, but he does go down. He gets pre-fired from the top of the bridge. He did have this to would be a 2v1 right now, and the nades are not going to kill him at all, so anything can happen right now. We got a 2v1. We got Reese alone right now. Club X needs to take control Many of this round right now. And and make it is clutch. possible. Reese is very good. He doesn't. No, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. Club X doing big things, um, bringing it back from a 3v2 situation. That was a really nice play by Club X, and a 2v3 is exactly what they needed to start getting back into this game. Be interesting to see whether they play it passive or actually make a move on it to try and get a grip of this game. I definitely think the way Reese is moving right now is that he is definitely off host. I don't think Reese is hosting this game, which means that Club X would be hosting this game right now. I'm almost positive. Yeah, yeah, it's not a host pistol. There's no way. It's definitely Club X's host right now. Afterlife, if they want to make a big play right now, they have to close out this game so Club X doesn't make a comeback. Got some action going right on. Right now, we're definitely, some movement. definitely seeing a reset from Afterlife right now. Definitely. Oh, we could be seeing a trick strat right now. Afterlife player's gone down there. Stub easy. Oh, he's picking up the kill. McSteve. Technical is down right now. Afterlife does have the torque boost. Stabizi's down too. And oh. just like that, Club X getting right back into the game. If they can make this 3-2, to two, they could definitely tie this up. And then it's any person's game. The momentum could be shifting. Big factor. <laughs> Club X needs to capitalize right now. Got to go on the water steps. 3v1. They didn't take it wide, though. They challenged the 1v1. Reese, Reese is going go. big. Reese going huge right now. Reese in a 1v4 trying to make a play right now. Oh. Reese is taken down, but still taking out two guys in a 2v4. Very impressive, especially in a spot like that. It's been a long time since I've seen a 1v4 on land on Gears of War, I have to say. I haven't seen a 1v4 in a long time. And the way the players, the top players in the league play right now, it's not bound to happen. Everybody plays smart, yeah. and with that happening with all our top players right now, you're not going to see a 1v4. And if you do, well, kudos it's to crazy, whoever does that, because that's very impressive. Well, everything goes on VOD, so we'll be able to see afterwards if uh, anyone makes a big play. They'll be able to relish their moment. So hopefully we do see some big plays. Already seen a 1v2 from Reaction. Yeah, 1v2 from Reaction so far. I mean, Reese trying to get a 1v4 right there. Club X with a 2v3. They clutched previously, I believe, two rounds ago, so that was really nice. Wow, so Club X really setting it right now. Well, but they get a revive and they've got one down, so they're trading for a free. That was a good comeback right there by uh, Very Afterlife. Smart. Yeah, and Reaction did say he just downed host, so it is definitely a fact that Club X has hosted this game, so that is official. It's funny how host plays such a big factor in Gears of War compared to other games. It's, as I said, it's a power weapon. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be back in Gears 3 or if dedicated servers are actually going to be, you know. To be honest, I, I've played on it a little bit, and so far since I've played, I can't even tell who's host or not. Really? I've played with my UK teammates, which is extremely hard to do online in Gears 1. But in Gears 3, it's no problem at all. I can play wow. on a UK server and still get kills, so it's definitely dedicated servers without of doubt. Of course, though, you know, the, the, detail, you know, the little things of uh, host advantage, they all become more apparent as the game becomes more competitive, as people get better. Every True. little thing counts. There will Hopefully, be, it will not be that much of a factor. Yeah, there will definitely be new things that people figure out that probably will make host more effective than I can see right now. Then again, it is only a beta. Yeah, no doubt. The real question is right now, is can Club X take this round and tie it up 3-3? Three to three. If they manage to take this back to 3-3, three, three, I've got to say, the momentum normally when you come back from 3-0 down normally tends to go to the team that have on the comeback. Unfortunately, three times at ECL1, I was on the opposite side of that, being up 3 low and losing, so I already know what it could do to you. There's nothing much going on, maybe. Need a snipe battle going down I side. Maybe a different point of view, because there's nothing much going on here. Yeah, both people are being very, very careful right now, both the teams, that is, because nobody wants to be that guy who dies and lets that other team get map control right what now. What always made me laugh is that people wait for three out of four minutes on canals just to do a rush that they could have done 
earlier ago, on yeah, when I the team understand. on defense had less snipers, less nades, no torpo. But I guess it's just that you know a, a mentality thing where they build up the uh, you know the confidence in their head over three minutes to push on the fourth. Then again, when you think about it, I mean, you could see this almost as a way as Afterlife trying to kill the hype that Club X has right now. True, Club X yeah. did just take two rounds, so I mean, by Afterlife just chilling right now, Club X is sitting there getting bored. They might be prone to even possibly make a mistake, and then Afterlife could capitalize. But I don't know what they're well, thinking that could be possible. It is. It's such an you know the community can be so angry at times, really. So a chill out period on a map like Canals, yeah, it can change everything. Yeah, especially if one of the teams becomes impatient and their push is sloppy. However, if it is an organized push, then it could be really, really effective Possibly to win the round. Possibly a reaction. I heard one of his weaknesses, even though as good as he is, is that his temper is awful. Well, Jack does have a temper, but then again, Jack, I mean, we teamed with him for about almost six months, and almost the whole time we teamed with him, I played online and I couldn't really do much, and he was able to keep his cool. If he could do that today, Afterlife will be quite a force to be reckoned what with. What happened with reaction in your team? Why, why did it end? Um, to be honest, Jack just left, and that was it. And then we picked up somebody else, so we didn't change our mind after that. It was that simple. Did he ask to come back? Um, yeah, but he's still a good player, so I think he's fine on Afterlife. Finally, we'll see some push in 30 seconds to go. Yeah. And here's that push that we were talking about earlier. Oh, oh and making a play. Infernal. Taking out Reese right now. Fernal going huge. This is going to be a free. Baz making the kill. We have a 4v2, boys. Comes it right now. Oh, oh. The team back. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Getting into Cl it. <laughs> oh man, and there we go. Here we go. This is what we want to trash see. This is why right this is on main stage right now. <laughs> this is gonna get really, really interesting. Three, three, first map. Club X is host. Club X needs to close out. But if Afterlife can take a host map off of Club X, huge for Afterlife. When with Reese hosting. When the skill level is so close between these teams, I think the mental game counts for everything. Who can get into whose head? Oh, yeah, definitely. Both teams have evolved so much since ECL1. I mean, Club X's roster is completely different with Abs leaving, Aridity being on focus now, and then Jamie being on my team. So it's a completely new team. But, I mean, if there was any free agent that was extremely good, Infernal was one of them. So picking up him was such a smart play, and he's been playing really well. Then you have Red, Baz, and Crooks coming back to the game on top of it. It's just a force. And with Afterlife, they look great this event, and they're really, really organized. So it's going to be a crazy game. Oh, reaction, reaction making gone crazy nuts. plays right now. He's so good with covering. Oh. The reaction taking out both players. <laughs> he is gone going mad. huge right now, and they are hungry for this round right now. Is he go team kill? Is he go team kill? Reaction just got three kills oh. now, and they closed out the match.